What's up everyone, Ian here with another DIY install and today I'm going to show you how to install the Parent Performance Short Shifter Adapter and the shifter bushings for the rear shift rod on my 2014 Subaru WRX. So let's get started with the unboxing. So here we have the shifter bushing for the rear shift rod and all the necessary hardware along with instructions, parent decals, that's always nice. And in this box we have the five speed short shifter adapter with shifter bushings, all the necessary hardware. Here's the actual shifter adapter. So let's get started. With your car safely raised, Locate your O2 sensor attached to your catalytic converter and remove it. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the plug. Pinch the plastic wire support for the O2 sensor in order to remove it from the transmission brace. Carefully unscrew your O2 sensor, making sure not to twist the wire. Remove the two front 12mm bolts supporting the heat shield. Remove the two rear 12mm bolts supporting the heat shield. Support the transmission using a jack. Remove the two 14mm nuts securing the brace to the training mount. Remove the 17mm bolts securing the transmission braces to the chassis. And remove the brace from your car. Lower your transmission about 3 inches to expose the lower shifter bushing. Remove the 12mm nut and flat washer from the bushing bracket. Remove the OEM bushing from the bracket. I suggest using soapy water to aid you in this removal process. Once the OEM bushing is coated with soapy water, hold the bracket and use a tool to push out the OEM bushing. Remove the two 12mm bolts securing the OEM rear shifter bushing to the chassis and remove it from the shift rod. Check out the difference between the two rear shift rod bushings. The OEM bushing is on the right which looks pretty sad while the paired bushing is completely solid. Apply the supplied grease to the rear portion of the shift rod and also apply grease to the parent bushing. Raise your transmission back up into the car. Make sure the parent logo on the bushing is facing downward for the install. Installing this part is a little tricky. You want to use the end of a tool and here I'm using the end of my screwdriver to help push the bushing over while I'm inserting the bolts. This will help line everything up. So while you're pushing, you'll be tightening the other bolt. Torque these bolts to 15 foot-pounds. Next, grease up your two red shifter bushings and insert them in the shifter bracket. Slide the bracket on with the installed bushings and make sure to grease up the outside of that bushing as to avoid any clunking noises. Reinstall the lower shifter linkage back onto the tranny.
and retighten the nut. Torque it down to 13 foot pounds. In the bottom left of the screen, you'll see a comparison between parent bushings and OEM bushings on a vehicle. The OEM bushings are just soft and flimsy, but the parent bushings are nice and solid, so you're going to get a more connected feel while you're shifting. Reinstall the training supports and tighten all the bolts. 100 foot-pounds for the 17mm bolts and 51 foot-pounds for the 14mm bolts. Double check to make sure everything is properly tightened and now we can move on to the short shifter adapter. The first step in installing your parent short shifter adapter is to gain access to the two screws located in your center armrest. You can use a 10 mil socket or a Phillips head screwdriver to remove these. Next, what you'll want to do is gain access to the screw located underneath the e-brake boot. So what you'll need to do is pinch the e-brake boot and simply pull off and to the left towards the driver's side. And it should pop right off. Now you have access to the screw. Go ahead and remove it. And now you can remove your entire center armrest console. Next, remove your shift knob by unscrewing it counterclockwise. Pinch the front gray portion of your shifter console and pull it backwards gently in order to remove it. And then work your way back. Remove these two white fasteners. You can press down the rubber and begin unscrewing. Go ahead and pull the rubber boot off. You can choose to reinstall this, but it might interfere with the shifter adapter. Remove the 12 millimeter bolt and nut. Now we can remove these two bushings on both sides. Re-grease these plastic bushings before you install them on the short shifter adapter. Install the plastic bushings into your parent short shifter adapter and reinsert the steel pin. Now I'm just cleaning the excess grease. With the bushings and pin installed, you want to loosen this up so it can slide over your shifter. With the bend of the shifter now pointed towards the rear of the car, slide over your shifter adapter. In order to achieve the shortest throw possible to first gear, what you're going to need to do is bend this metal part of the bracket upward so that this rod will have clearance. Take an adjustable pressure wrench. Make sure it's on there firm and go ahead and bend this upward. Reinsert the 12 millimeter bolt and secure it with the nut. Right now I have the short shifter adapter placed as high as I can go and I'm going to go into first to make sure I have clearance right here, which I do, so that means I'm okay. What I'm going to do now is use my hands to prop the adapter up as high as possible and block it with my right hand and I'm going to tighten the Allen screw on the adapter to achieve the highest possible setting while I'm in first gear. And it should be good. So now I have enough clearance in first gear after bending this as high as I could with my adjustable crescent wrench. I have perfect clearance, nothing's hitting. Second, third, fourth, fifth. And then reverse. 
check this one more time to make sure it's not loose. It's worked pretty good. So with this all set, now all we have to do is reinstall everything in the reverse process and take your car for a test drive. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like, comment, and share this video. Follow me on all my social media. I'll see you next time. Peace.